hi guys in this tutorial i will show you how you can create this type of custom accordion as you can see we have accordion in here so if you click on this our content section is expanding and if we click it is closing and our icon also animating you can add any element in here or here as well and this tutorial is uh, an advanced tutorial so you must have some css and javascript knowledge we will use css and jquery so let's get started so this is a blank page in here as you can see so first of all let's create a section in here and inside this section we will need two inner section one will be this and one will be this content area okay so let's add inner section so this will be our top section this one that will be visible every time and the bottom one will be our content section so let's create three column you can decide it just like you want so i'm just creating it just like this one so in the left column let's add an image in here in here let's add a title and in here we need a icon and let's make this smaller change this icon to this one and let's set everything to vertically align middle so that everything is on the middle and change this title we need to make it a little bit small mm -hmm. let's set this width to like this and make this icon size smaller as well okay let's set this background color of that section so i am using a gradient color and let's change this color to white and this to white as well so as you can see our top portion is done let's remove this column gap to no gap so that uh, there is no gap around this so now if we refresh as you can see this is our top section now let's create our bottom main content section so i'm just adding some text and maybe some icon box in here Okay, so this will be our content let's add some padding around this and maybe a little light gray background okay so let's save this as you can see this will be our accordion so let's add some css and jquery to make it fully functional so this is our css editor let's write some css in here so first of all we need to hide this content area because if uh, we load our page only this person should be visible right so let's hide this area and let's give it a class name to this section so i am calling it toggle content you can call it whatever you want so this will be toggle content and let's also give this top section a class called uh, maybe toggle trigger okay so this will be our trigger and this will be our content and we also need a class for our icon because we want to animate it okay so now it is done so now let's target our classes and add our jquery and css first of all this section will be hidden right so we need to give it a display none to this section so let's target this toggle con content and set it to display none but there is an issue in here because we set it display none if we want to edit it elementor this will be also hidden so we cannot update our content right so we need a way that if we want to edit in elementor this will be visible and if we want the front end this will be hidden right so we need to add a another css handle class handle in here 
so body not elementor editor active this elementor editor active class is added when our we are in editing mode right so we set body not elementor so when this elementor active class is not in the body then this will happen right so body not elementor editor active toggle content display on. so now this will be visible on editing mode but hidden in here so let's save this and see if it works. As you can see, our content is now hidden. Also, if we hover over to this area, our cursor is not changing. So we need to add a cursor in here. So let's set this cursor for our, this was toggle trigger. So let's change this cursor for our toggle trigger. So target this toggle trigger and set this cursor cursor to pointer okay so our cursor will be pointer let's head to our javascript or jquery section so first of all let's add our jquery ready function i'm just copy pasting it here so inside our document ready function we will add our jquery so we want if we click our toggle trigger this content will be visible so we need to target our toggle trigger so inside in here we will set our toggle trigger toggle trigger so we'll target our toggle trigger and we'll add a click event to it so we'll type one and inside this we will type on click so where do user click on this this function will be triggered first of all we will set a variable called uh, this that will be easier for us so let this equals okay so sorry so we will use this instead of this okay now we will set a condition that if user click on this area a certain class will be applied to our toggle content if not this will the class will be removed so this condition we will need to add so we will add if condition in here so if this dot has class then we will set a class name in here i am calling it tab active you can call it whatever you want so if this has a tab active class then this will happen if not else something will happen in here so if this section has a class called tab active then first we will remove the class tab active this one then so we'll add a slide up animation to our toggle content so i'm just copy pasting it to save some time i will provide the code in the description you can just copy paste and modify it according to your need if our toggle trigger has this class called tab active then first of all we will remove this and then the toggle content will be slide up so this dot next toggle content because if you want to use multiple then there will be many toggle content so we will use dot next in here and else this will add a class toggle class so else if we don't have this class else this dot toggle class tab active so we will add tab active class we will add a slide down animation in here so this dot next toggle content slide instead of up this will be done and in here you can set the timing so how fast or how slow you want it as you can see our animation is working perfectly okay so everything is done except our icon is not changing right so we should rotate it to if you expand this this will be rotated to upwards and if you collapse it this will be downwards so we can add this just with some css so let's add some css so the class of our arrow uh, icon was arrow so arrow i will first add a little bit of transition so that when you retract this this transition 
goes slowly so the transition duration will be 0.5 second we will just set the duration in here nothing else we need and in here we need to add the animation so when the tab active then what will we do with arrow i okay so if the tab active class is there then this will be applied so first of all we need a transition property so we will add a transition property and it, we will set it to transform and we will transform it to rotate and it will be 180 degree and let's set it to important because elementor sets some transformation animation by default so we have added transform rotate 180 degree and now we need to set the duration i'm just copying pasting this line in here let's refresh now as you can see if we expand our content this is, is rotating to 180 degree so if you collapse it is rotating back toward its default position now our accordion is done you can add as many accordion you want let me just duplicate this one let's just add a bottom to 10 pixels duplicate duplicate and let's see if it is working perfectly now as you can see we have three accordion okay so this is how you can create your custom accordion just like you want 